first of all have you ever wondered why every time you come back home from work your toddler is clean and neat sometimes i'm, sometimes I'm tired i'm being honest sometimes i'm tired i'm like oh thank god they are actually asleep let me just do what i'm supposed to do and i try to wake them up and feed them maybe they've not eaten some of these people that we live with our kids they actually they might not really care hi guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here hi i am Bobby Nels, and here we find the balance i'm a mom wife and a boss i'm also employed so on this channel we talk about motherhood lifestyle marriage children and everything in between so if you're interested in such content please consider to subscribe click on that notification bell so that every time i post a video you don't miss out please please subscribe to my channel and let the family grow today i'm going to be sharing five things that a working mom needs to do in order to keep up with her hard toddlers first of all have you ever wondered why every time you come back home from work your toddler is clean and neat is it because you come back, come back very late when they finish to take their bath or you're just happy to find your kids clean well i think you need to consider checking their clothes yeah and no did really my kids play or did, you, did they have time to, did they have time to play or they are locked up in the house and not allowed to play you know you know we have nannies at home nannies or house helps we live up with as a working mom i leave my kids with them so i really don't know what goes on at home what are they doing what are they, what are they up to did, did you take time to find out or oh, you, you're very tired from work and you want to rest number one you find when the kids have taken a shower yes they are clean they're all looking well taken care of but do they actually get time to play i think we should let kids be kids yes give them time do they get time to play outside yeah if you come back late and they've already finished to bathe take time to look at their clothes ask the, ask the person they're staying with where are the clothes that the kids were wearing today check if they are all always clean then you something is fishy they either don't allow these kids to go out and play they lock them inside so that they don't get dirty because when you come back home moms you will shout at them and so instead of making themselves dirty they prefer keeping them inside indoors too big and they stay clean which is not good for the kids it's not good for their brain for their growth so please try to check are these kids really playing outside why are they always clean please try to find out let these kids play it helps them it helps them to boost to boost their brain let the kids be kids and let them play so try to find out why, why are they always clean is it because they always lock them in the house try to ask your neighbors if you i hope you're in good terms with your neighbors try to ask your neighbors do they do these kids actually go out and play sometimes yeah do they play are they you know how are they another thing mom when you come back from home from work sometimes you're very tired all you need to do is enter your bedroom and sleep but what about these toddlers you know our kids they spend almost all these hours with the nanny or the house help and what do you feed your kids when you come back home do you want to rush home do you want to rush home and go to bed and sleep and rest work was so hectic well i would think that when you go back home give them a hug cuddle them yeah because they know mommy has gone to work but when she comes back she loves me so give them a hug give them a kiss yeah let them know that you love them carry them from the gate go in the chairs sit and listen to them the third thing when you sit and listen when you're sitting down please play with them their favorite game for example my boys love to drive around to pretend that they're actually driving so what i do i sit i try to play with them yeah their, their favorite games drive with them their toy cars or their sticks whatever they are driving then swing them around 
it can take like maybe only 10 minutes but it will count because you've spent time to you've spent some time with them and you've played their favorite game with them so please mom consider to do that well for me when i get back home i play with them i sing with them because i sing with them and pray with them because that's the time we get to bond we sing our favorite songs a b c d one two three and their favorite worship song and then we can do something else another thing is sometimes i can maybe take long to come back home yeah and maybe i come back past eight when they are already asleep now i know sometimes when sometimes i'm sometimes i'm tired i'm being honest sometimes i'm really tired and i'm like oh thank god they are actually asleep let me just do what i'm supposed to do and but if i if if i find them asleep the next day i try to wake them up and feed them even if you know you you will ask your the lady you left her at home did the kids feed and they'll say yes they did they did eat supper did they eat well yeah of course ask those things and they're used to these questions so they will they will tell you yes the baby ate the baby did this so for me i i make an effort or oh, like actually it's my husband who taught me this so whenever i come back home i wake them up i try to wake them up and give them something to eat because you do not know how they've been eating the whole day maybe they've not eaten yeah maybe they've not eaten and you found them when they are asleep which means they're going to sleep hungry yes so please try to wake them up i know it's hard because you want to also rest but for the kids please wake them up give them something to eat and then they can go back to sleep or if you feel that day that you, you're tired and you cannot wake them up in the morning make it a point that before you leave for work they have taken something they've taken their bread they've taken their breakfast so that at least you know they have something in their stomach some of these people that we live with our kids they actually they might not really care a lot so please make it a point to do these things if you're still watching this video please subscribe subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up click on the notification bell and i love Mommy. you thank you for Mommy. watching bye bye Mommy. see you next time yes Thank you.